Welcome back to Litan Pro. In this tutorial, we are going to create a concrete spiral staircase in Autodesk Inventor. And for the dimensions, we have this drawing, and we are going to follow this drawing step by step in order to create our stair. And here we have some information, so let's read this information. Step rise, 176 mm. Step width, 1000 mm. Total stair rise, 2112 mm. Inner diameter, 800 mm. Outer diameter, 2800 mm. Material, concrete, and uh, all dimensions are in millimeter. And here we will see later how to calculate pitch and revolution. As we see here, we have from the start line to the finish line, we have 90 degree. So this stair is about 270 degree curve. And here we have the final uh, step uh, wood part, thickness 26 mm. So let's start to create our step. Create new project. And select uh, sketch. Select top plane. Draw a circle. Draw another circle. And let's give a dimension. 800 mm. And the outer diameter, 2800 mm. Now draw a line from this point to this point. And let's uh, check the dimension. 1000. Perfect. And now select the uh, circular pattern and select this line. Axis, select this midpoint. Number 13. Angle 270 degree. And from here, change the direction. Perfect. And now select point and find midpoint of this uh, line. Finish the sketch. And now select 3D sketch. And select helicopter. curve. Select this midpoint. And give a dimension of 2112. And now select uh, find the midpoint of this line. So now we are going to calculate pitch and revolution. And from here, as we see, we have pitch 360 divided uh, to 270 degree. So the result will be 1.33333. So then we are going to multiply this number by the total stair raise. So total stair raise 2112 millimeter. Multiply by 1.33333. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So let's delete one. Perfect. And again for the revolution. Revolution we have 270 degree, this degree, 270 degree, divide to 360, so the result will be 0 0.75. So let's give a dimension of 0 0.75 millimeter. And now we are going to change this curve direction from here. Perfect. And now select apply. Okay. Finish the sketch. And now we are going to create a sketch on the YZ plane. Create new sketch. And select project geometry. Find this center point. Draw a rectangle. Start from the center. And give a dimension of 300 on this direction and 250 in this direction so let's change this uh, dimension from here just give a dimension of 150 let's delete this one first one hundred fifty and now delete this line now our sketch is fully defined finish the sketch and now select 3d model and select sweep command select this profile and select this curve okay and now let's create a new plane select offset from plane and select xz plane give a dimension of 150 millimeter upward okay now select this plane and create new sketch select project geometry select this line this line and this circle this circle and this this point okay finish the sketch select extrude command select this profile change direction and change and give a dimension of 90 millimeter okay again select this profile and select cap change direction and so all okay perfect and, and let's select this sketch let's make it visible and now select 3d sketch helical curve and now select midpoint of this uh, circle this one give a dimension of 2112 millimeter okay and again find this midpoint Diameter 1800 millimeter, it's okay. And pitch, we have to do the same as we do before 2800 times 1.33333. And the same for the revolution 0 0.75. And here, make sure that's uh, have been selected pitch and revolution. Now, change the direction of this curve. Okay. Cancel. Finish the sketch. And now, let's hide this uh, plane. Select rectangular pattern and select this feature and select this one. Direction, select this curve. Number, 13 pieces. And select curve links. Direction. Okay. It looks perfect. And again, select extrude command. Select this profile. Give a thickness of 26 millimeter. And from here, select new solid body. Okay. And again, select this 3D sketch and make it visible. And now again select rectangular pattern 
and select these solid body direction this curve number 30 pieces direction one and from here select curve planes okay it looks perfect now let's hide this whole sketch so now let's create new sketch here and let's draw a line So give a dimension from this line to this line 176 millimeter perfect finish the sketch select extrude cut through all and select uh, this solid body and let's change this a little bit through all perfect because we have a little bit uh, remain here let's change the this sketch delete this line And again select this face and create new sketch for your geometry select this profile okay select extrude cut to all okay now we have deleted this uh, 26 uh, thickness the finish part wooden part so let's do again create new sketch and delete this one select this profile okay extrude cut to all okay perfect now select the uh, fillet command select this edge and this edge and give a dimension of 20. okay and the same here select this dimension 20 okay from here select material concrete and for the color just select this one perfect uh, let's change this uh, finish part So now let's check the stair total rise and step rise. From here to here should be 2112. And the step rise will be 176. It looks perfect. Okay. Now our model is finished. If you like this video, please don't forget like, share, comment. And for more video and more project in Inventor, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.